gotta head back to class for a little bit. That party last night, so I have to dance. This is Taylor Murto with News Station. We have breaking news. Just in, we have the latest on a completely unexpected eruption of Mount Rainier last night. We now go to our field reporter, Allison. We're experiencing technical difficulties, folks, so please bear with us. Hello, Taylor. I'm live at Lake Washington, overlooking the greater Seattle area, where just last night Mount Rainier blew her top. Long thought to be an inactive volcano, Rainier surprised everyone last night by exploding with no warning, unleashing pyroclastic flows and causing earthquakes, which resulted in mudslides, burying Seattle and her surrounding cities. Seismologists from the University of Washington have agreed that while the volcano appears to be sleeping once more, seismic activity is still a very real possibility and to be expected through the next several days. The ash plume from the volcano's explosions were seen as far away as Everett. It is estimated several tons of mud were loosened from the hillsides and are now resting in the center of Seattle. To my left, you can see where the mud flowed down the center of the street, burying everything in its path. An estimated 5,000 are dead, with the death toll rising by the hour. In addition, 1,000 people have been reported missing. First responders are attempting to rescue the thousands trapped by mud and debris in the city, although the process is long and tedious. Damages to buildings are estimated to be about $15 million, not including cleanup, which could cost as much as $5 million. Over 200,000 homes have been flattened by the mudslides. All roads leading to Seattle have been blocked by mud and wreckage, making it difficult for aid to arrive. Arrive. Rescuers are making do with what they have, although they are sending out pleas for pumps, shovels, and heavy machinery. Tell us a little bit about the mudslide. We were working when we felt the ground shaking, and soon after, a flood of mud and debris came and just covered us and everything, including our comrades. How did you and Kyle manage to survive? Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> Taylor and I were able to cling to the rocks on the side where we watched as everyone else, was, everyone else was buried. We could do nothing. We've been battered by rocks and other debris, and our legs are broken from the immense pressure inflicted by the mud. I'm starting to lose feeling in my lower body. That's such a terrible thing to witness. You two are so brave for fighting through the pain and refusing to give up. Do you have a final message for our viewers? I have a wife and two children. They're very, very worried about me. My kids are scared that I won't come home ever and that I will die here. Please help us. The rescuers tell us that they can dig us out without shovels and pumps. We are begging those watching us to send aid. Taylor and I have families. Little kids don't leave us to die. And there you have it, folks. These trapped miners have become a symbol of hope and inspiration to the millions of viewers watching their struggles. Back to you, Taylor. shot two hours ago when we checked back in with Allison recently we learned that the men are still trapped although promises of aid in the form of shovels has brought new hope into the situation however time is running out for these brave souls medics on the scene have reported that they are becoming hypothermic and they may not make it throughout the night your thoughts and prayers are requested for those heroic and courageous beings we'll have more on this terrible act of destruction by mother, la mother nature later in the hour also news st also, we will be continuing to update our viewers on the tragedy of... <laughs> wow, you're so brave for coming out to try and report this. I'm not sure if it was worth the money you're going to get as a reporter. But oh. it must be. <laughs> <laughs> the helicopter barely got you out, and then you come down here and you stumble, and now you broke a leg, and you're on the ground, <laughs> and there's no rescue because everyone else is covered in lava. They're going to be rescued is by a helicopter, but they're going to have to find a break from rescuing all the other thousands of people that need help and come and help you. We'll pray for help that a helicopter will come before we'll come to eat you, and good luck. We'll be watching you. Back to you. See Back here, to you, this mine used to be much bigger in size, but we're afraid that at least a thousand workers are missing or dead in here. It's very sad. <laughs> Jared's dead. Allison still alive. There's low hope that she'll make it out. As helicopters are rescuing lots of other people. And it will take a really long time. And it's possible that more mud will come down and bury her too. And we're just gonna dig a grave. For we're gonna quickly bury Jet before mud, more mud comes, so that you'll have a nice grave lined up with rocks piled all. As over. you see here is another mine that's broken down with expected at least 500 people dead. 
We can hear cries of hope, so hopefully someone pops out. Oh, what's this? Seems to be a, another miner in there. I can't see him, but hello? Hello? Talk? <laughs> Are you in there? Can we help you? Can you talk? Do you know English? Oh look, we see feet! There's one leg! Oh. There's another miner. He looks, doesn't look very safe because he's got a big fall. And uh... What's your name? Can we help you, Frank? Yeah. Can you get me off this cliff? Are you hurt at all? Yeah. I've cut some bruises all over. Do you think you can make it through the knife? Can you fight off a pack of wolves? Probably not. This is not good, folks. Look at this huge trench. That's going to take a while to uh, cross. I think we're going to need another helicopter, but you're third on the waiting list. Well, I'll just get comfortable. That's good. Alright, we'll see you in about an hour or two, or else... Do you have any last words you want to say to your family? Help me. Why don't you just stay there? Don't move. We'll be back. And if there's wolves, scream really loud. I said I want help. Well, we can't help you yet. <laughs> Once again, folks, this may be the last footage you see of this brave miner trying to climb himself out of here. Are all the other exits closed? This is the only exit, yeah. I wish you good luck. <laughs> Our prayers go out to you. And we hope that we can get a helicopter in here to help you before the night comes and the inevitable death by an attack of wolves. Just turn around and come back. Hurry. We're trying, dude. We're trying. The horizon is very smoky from all the ash. Oh, there's mudslides coming. The earthquake just happened. We gotta get out of here. Uh -oh. I've ate it twice now. Hey, there's a trail. Please hurry up. Ow, son of a it is cramped back here. I'm no liar.